we're to the point now where we can talk about technician responsibility in terms of fixed right first time. In the last segment, we talked about using the customer problem analysis sheet to help the service writer gather information, which is a critical step in ensuring fixed right first time. Now, let's discuss the technician's responsibility to fixed right first time. I hold the technician primarily responsible for fixed right first time, although everybody, remember, everybody that touches that vehicle and engages the customer has a responsibility. The technician bears the burden of, of the biggest part of that responsibility. The first responsibility the technician has to fix right first time is in verifying the complaint. I tell technicians in my technical classes, you do not do anything unless you verify the complaint. If you start putting parts on a car and you haven't verified the complaint, you're just digging yourself a big hole and you're asking for a bad customer satisfaction score. So fix right first time, as far as the technician goes, after they've gathered information, begins with the test drive in ensuring that they actually know what the problem is, verifying the complaint. Now, I also expect these guys to communicate with the service writer if there's something that they need to know that, that they haven't been told yet, that hasn't been written down, or something that doesn't make sense. Communication is a huge key. I expect them to maintain the appropriate skill set required to diagnose and repair modern automobiles. I mentioned this in an earlier segment. Working on vehicles today is far from simple. And you don't ever get enough training in a shop environment where you are up to speed every single day. Just because you've been told something was, was accurate today doesn't mean it's accurate tomorrow. I expect technicians to take the initiative and maintain the appropriate skill set. Do their reading, do their studying, belong to technician network groups like IATN so that they can gather the appropriate up-to-date information. I expect them to practice due diligence in their repairs and their diagnosis. That means take pride in their work. That means don't jump to conclusions. That means gather vehicle service history and put it together with what their observations are. It means keep their tools in the appropriate state of repair so they get accurate diagnostic results. It means use technical service bulletins not as the answer to the problem, not as the diagnosis, but as something to consider. It's, used to, it's, it's to be used to inform their decisions, not be their decisions. So repair history, technical service bulletins, test equipment, skill set, verifying the complaint, and not the least of which, confirm the repair. The primary responsibility by the time they're all done with the diagnosis and the upselling and the repairs is to actually confirm the repair, just like they confirmed the complaint. Confirm the repair. I expect them to test drive that vehicle after the problem's been resolved to ensure resolution. And at that point, it gets turned back over to the service rider. So everybody that touches that vehicle has a responsibility to fix right first time, to communicating information between one another, to asking the appropriate questions, to diagnosing properly, maintaining the appropriate skill set, and maintaining a skill set that allows them to properly repair that vehicle. Fix right first time, critical piece in that customer satisfaction pyramid. You can't have that pyramid without that middle bar. Keep it in mind, keep up the great work, and never stop learning.